Back to school after Irma and tomorrow morning for the first time since September the 7th. Schools will be open in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties. However, it will be anything but a normal day. CBS 4 Silva Hart Petty on live in Miami with the details that every parent, including me, has been waiting for. Silva. <laughs> Hi, Rick. We can tell you that Miami-Dade is offering resources to help children deal and cope with the stress of the aftermath of the hurricane. So that is good news. There'll be some resources available. It is also important to remember for everyone to dig a little bit deeper tomorrow, as we'll have buses on the roadways bright and early in the morning, and not every signal light is working. Authorities are telling us to treat those as four-way stops. All of this as authorities and Miami-Dade School District is expecting hundreds of thousands of students back to school. Yeah. After a week off, parents ready for children to go back to school. Children? Well, that depends on who you ask. How's it been being out of school this week? Um, I don't like it. It's not fun. There's nothing to do. Sad. <laughs> Why are you sad? I don't want school to start. Hurricane Irma and the power outages that followed shut schools across Miami-Dade and Broward counties for more than a week. But school superintendent in Miami-Dade and Broward say they are ready to open schools on Monday. Obviously, we expect tomorrow not to be a regular school day. We expect delays. We expect some degree of inconvenience. We expect some degree of discomfort. But we believe that normalcy is restored with our public school system coming back into session. Superintendent Carvalho says transportation should not be an issue. They've checked the bus routes, but they do expect some delays. Every single absence and tardy will be deemed excused. We understand that tomorrow is not going to be a regular school day. Miami-Dade County Public Schools offering free breakfast and lunch for students. Broward County doing the same starting Monday. So to ensure that all students have access to meals, we are providing free breakfast and free lunch for every student at every school for the next several weeks. Uh, so to tell you, um, there are going to be some hiccups. There are actually some hiccups in Miami-Dade County. Richmond Heights Middle School doesn't have power, but students should still show up at school, Miami-Dade County Superintendent says, because they'll be holding classes across the street at the senior high school. We should also tell you that there are three schools in Broward County that are without power, but the superintendent says they've got contingency plans. So back to school for everyone in Miami-Dade and Broward County. So happy back to school day. Again, I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS 4 tonight.